Hi everybody, my name is Gary Cooper and welcome to My Fishing Diary. Today I'm going to talk about two things. The first thing is our economy. Right now, when I go fishing, I am spending a fortune on fuel. You know, I go through 20 gallons an hour with my two engines and uh, my gas is two dollars a liter so you figure that out how much money I'm spending it's a lot of money and I'm sure a lot of you people are doing the very same thing and uh, and yet you get out there to fish and what are you doing you put your flashers out and you put your gear out and you're trolling around in circles and you're usually having to fish by the rules of um, you know following in a particular pattern and and uh, you're trying to stay within the structure or stay within the back eddies or stay off the points where you think you're going to intercept a salmon. That costs a lot of money nowadays because of fuel. Well, there's another way and it's called using drift lures. And I have used drift lures for the last 50 years actually. Uh, and uh, one of the most favorite drift lures I use are the buzz bombs and the zingers. Now the buzz bomb was developed by Rex Field and out of Courtney and uh, became very, very popular. And then when Rex passed away, his son, Doug, took over the company and he developed the Zinger. Now the Zinger lure, great, great lure as well. These are two really great lures. Then, now that Doug has retired, he sold the company to no, Tim Dolden. Now Tim like loves to fish and uh, he invited me up Whoa. to Comox to take me out to a place to go fishing and we were going to go jigging for salmon. Great way to fish, you got to check this out, Grant's Reef, two guys, I'm operating the cameras and uh, you think you can beat this with trolling? I don't think so. We'll get We'll get right back to where the reef goes. The reef goes from like one, well, even more, but like 140, 150, and then it comes right up to 60. And with with the current and the wind pushing this way, everything gets pushed up against it. And I I also think that the salmon are coming. They're coming from the north, and you know, between, after Quadra Cortez. Savory. This is this is the next stop for them to really post up and um, you know kind of run along and the bait gets here. Sort of like a drive-through food area for them. Yeah. All right. And here you can see I'm it. Ready. You can see on the sounder, Gary, how it drops. There, it just drops right off, and then things get things get pushed up onto this, and you'll start to see at 60, 80 feet, you'll start to see tons of streaks. And then you just lay into them, and it's just heaven, fish heaven. I gotta retie. Are we good here? We're good. Yeah, we can. We're a bit deep at the moment, but um, we'll drift pretty quick. I'll tie up my buzz bomb again. What do you got? Another pink? Yeah, no, I got the same one. I just, I couldn't get that. He inhaled it. Oh yeah. So I had to. Oh, it's deep in his mouth, eh? It was really deep. It was all the way down his kind of stomach. Oh. So, oh, well, anyway, when you put on the buzz bomb, make sure you put it on the right way. It's got an arrow that says hook. Hook. So you always have to remember that because it's not perfectly symmetrical. So you can see there, this is a pink holographic and this says hook here with an arrow. And some people don't realize they're not symmetrical. It's fatter up here and longer here. And then when you tie on your bumper and your, and your hook, it, it evens out the balance. That's the trick. You want the thing, it mimics a stun bait fish and it, it rotates. Let's see if I can do it here. Like that, rotates downward. And that flash and vibration along with the instinct to hit a, hit a stunned bait fish coming out of the bait ball, that, that's the magic of these. Yeah. And all of our lures from Buzz Bomb Tackle, they're, they're a variation of that stunned bait fish. So the, the Buzz Bomb 
is that perfect erratic descent with vibration and uh, rotation downward. The zinger um, was actually invented slightly after the buzz bomb and Doug Field did that because he wanted the zinger to descend much faster. A little thing people should know is in British Columbia you're allowed to use a treble hook to catch salmon. We, we get phone calls from time to time and people say why do you have a treble hook? And um, the fact is you can have a single hook and um, it's really good to pierce the jaw single hook but you can have a treble and it, the erratic descent of the lure moves it around quite a bit. So uh, right now we're getting them really in the jaw. Uh, These fish are hungry, they're really they're, they're going for a big chase but you can have a treble hook in BC. So pinch your barbs. Um, that's easy enough to do and if you're using the buzz bomb for bottom fish you don't need to but um, you know we sell them we sell them all over North America whether it's uh, freshwater lake trout uh, bass you name it so uh, the freshwater guys they do like their they do like their um, their treble hooks and for a lot of the species around here you can have your you can have your treble so uh, don't don't be worried by that and there we go I'm all set I'm gonna get it down because um, I'm I've got one Gary's got none other than a big fancy camera and Marius doesn't have any yet but maybe I have the lucky color here here they come I'll go on it's coming right any second now oh look at all the fish There, I'm on. Yep. Oh. Yep. There he goes. <laughs> He's a little one. Oh. They, they like the pink today. Yep. He doesn't like the look of our boat. No, he's very mad at us. We ruined his very nice day. But he'll, good thing he'll forget. Oh, come here. You should be able just to shake him off. Oh. But otherwise you got the pliers right there. You want some help? Well, I'll hold your rod. It's right in the corner. Here. There he goes. There. There he goes. All right, Ma, you want to take a shot with this one? Sure. It's a little easier with the five. Oh my. There's Look at all that fish, hey? All right. All right. Living the buzz bomb lifestyle, that's what's happening. I can do this all day. <laughs> we do do it all day. I know. <laughs> yep. Oh, there, come on. Hooked. Hooked. Nice. There he goes. Yeah, he doesn't know, he doesn't know he's hooked yet. He's gonna come up. I wanna see him. He's gonna, there he is over there. Oh, he's off. Oh, at the boat. At the boat. Or maybe I was, oh, oh, the duck got him, that's why. What? No. The duck grabbed him. I thought I saw something weird. Oh, you mean you caught the duck? <laughs> <laughs> Or maybe I caught, I don't know. That's why, because I looked at it, it looked like a duck to me when it came up. For real? The duck ate the zinger. Yeah, yeah. yeah, didn't it look, there was something weird in its yeah, mouth. I thought it was. said, it, you know, there he is there. I looked at it and it was like duck. You caught him? Well, well, that's the first. I caught a duck. Bottom. No, you know. But what? Something big. Oh, wow. That's a fish. Oh 
Bummer. Bummer. What was that? That's what I was thinking. It felt like a barn door. Kids. Is it no. Damn it. Tim. I think that was a hell of it, dude. That's for sure. Oh, you're on again. Maybe Same. he was on the whole time. No. Same guy. Same guy. Oh, I love this. That's a big fish. Yes, it is. There he is. It is a halibut. Isn't it's it? It's a lingcod. Is it? Yeah. Lingcod? It's a keeper. Oh. Oh, it's a cabazon. Oh, it is? It's a cabazon. Huge cabazon. Yeah. I just wonder if he's got regular deals, right? Nothing original. Look at that. Yeah, really. Look at that. Big cabazon. That's a nice looking one. You can tell Gorgeous. you can tell it's a cabazon because he doesn't have the spiky teeth. Yeah, bring them in here. Oh, what a beauty. What a neat looking fish. You should mount that. <laughs> There's all sorts of fishy business going on with Gary Cooper. What a huge animal. Yeah, he's got like a bulletproof. Oh yeah. Pull him up. From where? Grab him by the tail like you would a normal fish. There, right there, yeah. Stop but be careful. <laughs> one underneath, one underneath this stuff. I'll be like that. There you go. Oh, he didn't like the boat. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Bus bomb lifestyle, baby. That's the good times. Here you go, little fish. Hey. Let him go. Yeah. This guy's tiring himself out and me. Oh yeah, tired him out a bit. Wait till he sees the boat, or she actually, I think it's a she, judging by the face. You're that good at it, eh? Yeah, you can see the face, the shape. Beautiful fish. Cause we. Yeah, I got my. Oh. Hold on a sec. Perfect. Can I what? Oh, there he is. Oh Beautiful yeah. Fish nice on the mail. on the zinger. It popped out already. Which is handy. Yeah. Why don't you grab the fish, Mike? Show the such mm. a sexy fish. Oh yeah. Oh, of course. Put that around. Right <laughs> Woo! A nice looking fish, eh? Another fish! Oh yeah! <sighs> Told ya! <you>. Yeah. <laughs> there it comes. I wasn't that deep, eh? 40, maybe? Beauty. Yeah, not too big, eh? We'll let this one go. 
Nice and spunky though, really good. You guys, this is awesome. So, the lures work, that's for sure. This is how it's done. Okay, let's, I'm gonna release you gentle like bud. That's gorgeous. That is a beautiful fish. And red inside, eh? Red inside, really red, we just cleaned him. I'll put him on here, and then what I'll do, Gary, is we'll release this one here. Uh, he's, he's still a bit feisty, but I Here. Pliers. Get pliers. Okay, I'll bring them over slow. I'm right behind on your back here, so. There we go. There. I'll go catch another fish. Oh, bait fish just jumping right here, too. Catching them so I could go down there. <laughs> Sorry. Actually, I'm not at all. Here we go. Let's see who can get one faster. Well, the zinger should get one faster because you can get down. Oh, yeah. I'll loosen off some drag here, let him have a run. There we go. Gorgeous. He's not big enough, I feel, so I will let him go too. Want to get a good look at him, Gary? It's not big, right? He just waved hello to me there. Yeah, totally did. Okay. Pliers. I can go in the back. Yeah, I might not be able to get them from here, eh? I'll try though. What's that? Number five? Oh, there we go. Thank you. Did it for me. Look at him. So strong. Yeah. Look at him glisten. Oh, the color, hey? Oh, man. Beautiful fish. Young fella. Get him off. You want the pliers? Or you want help? Want me to get it off while you hold the rod? I'll go down to my... Here, let here. me take the rod for you. This is my favorite spot. But it's hard for him to get footage with you down there, though. Just trying to get rid of it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That what happened, eh? Yeah, he just swam through my line. Oh, good. I can catch this whole scenario. Nice. Look down your right over here. Push it a bit more. Move it forward so I got your head. Yeah. Swam, in, swam away nice, eh? Yeah, he's gone. Good. Um. There you go. Nice fish. Yeah. Fish on, on dude. Again. Oh yeah. Oh, lovely. Oh, it's coming to you. I might go. Well, no, I can't go to the front of the boat. Oh, he might be off. 
Either that or he's running to me. I think he spat it. Yeah. That was a nice fish though. Back down. Yep. That yeah. was a real scrapper, that one. Yeah, totally. There, I got him again anyway. Don't worry, it's the same one. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. There are fish down there, boy. There it is. Thank you for watching this episode. We'd like to bring you events that happened in the past in order that they may be able to help you have a better fishing experience in the future. Until next week, this is Gary Cooper saying luck is an attitude.